What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you a small little component in Vue.js which I have created for image upload. So we have seen in my previous videos in this channel how we can use crop.js to you know, give the user an upload functionality with crop and everything. But what if it is a very simple thing? You know, we don't want any crop. It's just a file field where we just need to show the preview and we don't want an Ajax form submit as well. So this is a beautiful thing where if I click, I get the normal you know, upload file upload thing. I can select an image you know, like this one or maybe this one. Okay. And then let's just import and this particular thing changes. And you know, I haven't yet uploaded the image. I mean, I haven't done a save. I'm just using JavaScript, showing the image preview. And if I hit upload, it's basically a post call. Let me show you the um, thing. I'm request, I'm returning the request. I can do a file. I'll show you the code, but you just need to understand that it's just an image field. So, this is how it will come in and it's a typical file upload. So yeah, in this video, we are going to create this particular component, a reusable component, which we can quickly use to start uploading images and the form remains to be a PHP form. All right, so we have a blank page. What I have done so far is in my web.php, I have created a get URL where I am sending this you know, uh, blade file and this is a post URL where I'm going to return a request file with the key image. Okay, that's what we are going to develop. Now to do that, we will need to create a view component. My component name will be file field dot view. Okay. And because I'm creating this component, let me add the template, sorry. And script and the style. In this we will add in our app.js, okay? So let's do import um, file field from components file field okay and then we just need to let view know that we are going to use this component so this is going to be file field and we will name component tag sorry Okay, so with that done, let's come over this blade file, add our markup. Okay, and we are going to create a form because our component is going to be a field. So the form is going to be a PHP form. So we'll open the form tag. It will be url okay i haven't named that route so just test method is post and uh, what is that encryption enc type okay it's multi-part form data oops didn't work uh, all right now the first thing csr field and then we'll create this form group where we don't need anything in here that's something which our component will render our component name is file field so we'll copy this add it here this is our component and we'll have a button okay and let's just add some font or some icons and we have a form okay now we don't see anything in here because we haven't rendered anything in our template so let's quickly see what we would 
ideally like to do so in the template first create a wrapper div so file field wrapper okay and in that the first thing which we want to do is we'll have an image and we will bind the image source to a variable called let's say image preview okay uh, let's get rid of the alt for now okay we'll have a class preview image and we'll handle the on click so v on click is equal to let's say open upload all right that's the function which we need to create and then in a div okay, so we have a form group in here hmm. um, or rather let's just get rid of the form group altogether because we have already created it in the blade file right uh, in here so fine so we don't need the form group we'll create an input it will be file okay uh, we will have a name which is image type this file and then let's have id equals file field and what else v on uh, we need to handle change so change update preview that's another method which we need to write and we will add some style so display should be none okay i don't want to display this this particular field but i do want to handle the on change okay so let's come to our script export default okay in this first thing is the data let's return the object and in methods we need two functions so first is on upload Oops. copy paste so what are we going to do in on upload basically what the idea is um, okay um, before before doing that let us let me first show you how it is you know looking it will give you a better idea so image preview is a field which we have you know uh, defined in here so image preview the default value is slash admin lte slash upload underscore image dot png okay that's an image which i already have so um okay that is done and i need to define this method as well otherwise i'll have a error while compiling so let me save and let's go to chrome hit refresh okay so yeah now what we are saying is this is the default image i have the form upload if i click then i don't get anything because i'm returning the request file which is not present right now uh, but yeah this is the default value which is this now on upload when i click on this particular image okay i need to trigger this field because this is not being displayed but the uh, the file field will come up with the browse option only when we click on it right so what we are going to do is we'll take that um, element so document dot get element by id we have given it an id which is file field so let's copy that okay we'll get that element and we will do a click event on it and that's about it so if you see if i hit save and refresh this now if i click on it i'm able to get this okay but yeah we are not updating the thumbnail yet we need to write the code for that so what do we want to do in here we will be firing this event because on change we are calling this function and we are passing that event but now what do we want to do we are going to use the uh, file reader api of the browser so let's first create define two variables one is a reader 
and the second file which is e dot target dot files okay it is going to return me an array and then I will be um, checking whether the uh, file is empty or there are actually some files so if dollar files dot length because that is going to be an array equals equals zero okay and if it is zero I'll just console for now with that it is empty and if it is not empty then what we are going to do is we are going to define the reader as new file reader yeah we'll create that new object and then reader dot on load okay we have this function um, we'll, we'll pass the event and so let's just say this dot image uh, what what have we defined image preview right so image preview this dot image preview is equal to e dot target dot result okay um yeah that's about it so once that is done we will do reader dot read as data url right and we'll pass file files zero all right so that's something which i have you know picked up from stack overflow but what we are doing is you know we are creating as i told you we are creating the file reader object on load we are assigning that preview thing and then we are reading that from the data url all right so with this done i think we should pretty much have the preview function working no it's not hmm, that's strange let me refresh and check again so i click upload yeah and this is working i uh, will need to handle it a bit but that's okay not a big thing so what i'm going to do is in my style what is the uh, class for this yeah preview image will for now hard code the height and width so 327 pixels that is the height of the image i know that uh, sorry width and the height is what was the height 184 i think um okay and so we refresh and if i click and here so yeah we have the entire functionality ready you now we click we upload the image we instantly see the preview of that image this is the original image shown as you know, binary data if you see the image source the binary data is being visible okay and it is not still uploaded in the server and yeah this is a very easy way of creating this reusable component which we can place in any image upload field and get a quick preview thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel